In this video, I will show you how to use Arduino to make a slow-moving switch machine. It is part of our channel series on Arduino for the Railroad Modeler that shows you many ideas with solutions provided for animating your layout. In this video, I show you the wiring and demonstrate how it works. Below the video, you get a link to the sketch wiring diagram and how to install the switch machine in your layout. And there is also a link to our animation page. Remember that like all videos on our channel, you get a subscriber discount coupon if you subscribe. Once again, information about that is below. I will, in order, give you some information about our channel and why you subscribe information about the materials and equipment used, and then there will be a work table session showing a switch machine working. So let's start with a little bit about the channel. If you're interested in making unique dioramas, model railroading, or making models in general, this channel is for you. If you thought that you never had enough room or enough money to make the layout that you want, once again, this channel is for you. If you don't think that you have enough skill to do those things that you want to do, then this place is definitely for you. In this channel, you can improve your skills, learn new techniques, and stay up to date. By watching the videos that we have posted, your concerns about making the layout or a diorama that you want will be eliminated. So, to get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ding the bell whenever you see it. When you ding the bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video, and you'll be sure to stay up to date and learn something new. So now, let's go on to the topic at hand. What we're looking at here is a breadboard model of a slow-moving switch machine actuated. This is the servo that make you, will make your turnout move slowly. I have mocked up, just so you can see it, three signal lights. These lights will go on each leg of the uh, turnout. Now, with this sketch that is used to make this, we can, if you only want one light, just eliminate the wires. You can have it one, two, or three lights. That's a matter of wiring. We also have over here a control panel. There are indicator lights on the control panel and there's a momentary contact push button. The servo is powered from an external power supply. I do that to make sure that we don't burn out the servo. Pardon me, I have a wire that's become disconnected here. So, and then the LEDs are powered directly off the Arduino. In this case, I'm using an Arduino Mega. You can use an Uno. Why am I using a Mega? It's just that I have an extra Mega that I use for demonstrations and I, I just reprogram it as we go. Now, how does it work? We hit the momentary contact button. You'll notice the switch machine changed and the lights changed and the control panel changed. So it's very simple. The the switch machine moves, the lights change, and you have a very, you know, effective system. I'll break this down uh, with closer videos so that you can see everything. Uh, it's important. With this sketch, you can change the rate at which this arm moves, and you can change the sweep. So that's what we're going to be looking at. I'll break it down easier. Below the video is uh, a specific uh, link to the sketch used to program the board 
and intelligible wiring diagrams. You really, it's hard to tell from these pictures of what it looks like. So we'll, we'll break here and we'll, re, we'll set up a little more so I can show you some closer information and talk about the actual wiring. Okay, let's look at this a little bit closer. We've I'll move this around a little bit so you can see, I hope. Once again, we press the control button. You'll notice the servo motor is moved. There's full instructions on how to do this in, through the link below this. I have a complete section on Arduino for the railroad modeler where you don't have to program. This is just one of the sketches. I've got wiring diagrams, pictures, sketches. It's set up so it's simple. For somebody like me, I don't program. I've done the research, found the programs, play with the wiring, and I'm showing you how to do it. So, what do we have? First, we use a Tower Pro server information below to get them on eBay. They're cheap. There are three leads on the servo. The control wire goes back to the computer. The negative wire is grounded to the computer or the board. Now, the power goes to an external 5 volt power supply. I do that so I don't burn out the board. I never power my servos from the Arduino. Look at the link below that talks about Arduino power con uh, uh, limitations. Very important. So the servo is connected externally. Then we have a switch once again, the switch is connected through to the Arduino and through a connection here, there is a drop down resistor that goes from the negative from the ne negative side to the negative. What we've got to do is keep that drop down resistor there. So the server servo doesn't wag. Without that, the voltage is not really low when the program calls for it to be low, and you'll see servo wag. As far as the LEDs go, they're very simply wired. What I do is I these are Christmas light LEDs that I use for the demonstration. I cut them out of discarded uh, Christmas lights I pick up at the uh, flea market for a couple of bucks. Uh, a couple of bucks, I get 100 LEDs. And then I can use them for demos. I can use them for signal lights. Uh, for my traffic lights, I'll use uh, pre-wired LEDs. You can use pre-wired stuff, but they're cheap and they're, they're functional. Each one of them has its own circuit. The wiring... Uh, directions are in the web page. I'm not going to bother you with the wiring directions here. I'm going to show you what it is and how it works. As far as the board goes itself, let's take a look at the board. I use a 5 volt power supply. This power supply is the same as this power supply. It comes off a converted uh, computer uh, power supply. I converted it to uh, my power buses. So I've got 5 volts and 5 volts. Don't overpower the board. Again, take a look at power considerations in the link below. You go from the 5 volt in and the ground over to the power bus, so to speak, over here. And what do we have? A very simple lash up, not hard to do. And again, take a look down below. You can see everything graphically easily, but this shows you what this system can do 
Now you can also use this same sketch to run two switch machines. You just double this. There's a sketch again linked below that all you do is compress everything and make a second set of lights and you can operate two switch machines and each one will operate off its own button. You can also set it up that both of them will operate off the same button so you don't have to press two. So that's enough of this for now. We show you what it is. Again, you're reminded, go below and go to our Arduino projects page and you'll see a lot more. Hope this is, you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Remember, subscribers get a subscriber discount coupon that allows you to buy things in our shop. And it really helps. A like would be appreciated. Stay up to date when you subscribe. Click the bell and you'll be notified when a new video is posted. I hope this has been helpful. The links below are actually the most helpful. So go ahead down there, look at them, and click through, and you'll learn a lot about slow-moving switch machines.